Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have my Sephora VIB haul for you guys today. So let's get started because I have a lot to show you. I also have a few goodies from New York that I picked up when I was there for IMAT. So I'll show you guys that at the end. So the first thing I picked up from the VIB sale is this Murad uh, starter kit. Um, I usually when I see some, uh, some starter kits like this, I usually pick them up if I want to um, just have a feel of the company, of what they have to give. And um, so yeah, I wanted to try, I already have tried a few things from Murad, but since uh, this was there, and uh, there are sample sizes, they're not full sizes, uh, but it gives you a good idea if you like the products, and if you do like the products, then you could definitely uh, go to Sephora and pick up the uh, bigger version of it. So yeah, can't wait to try this and let you guys know how that works. So I'm just gonna put stuff over there because my table is full and I don't have nowhere to put it. The next thing I picked up was the Marc Jacobs. This is called the Instamark Light Filtering Contour Powder. This is in number 40 Mirage Filter. So it looks like so. It comes with a big mirror and it comes with this protective little thing for your powders, I guess, or for your mirror. So this is what it looks like. I haven't tried it, I have swatched it to make sure that the colors were good. And yes, the colors are good. Uh, this feels buttery. Um, the yellow banana shade is also a beautiful, perfect color. Um, I can't wait to try it on and make sure that everything is super nice, but I'm sure it will be. Everybody here on YouTube says that these powders are amazing. So yeah, so I wanted to pick it up since the sale was there and this is kind of pricey. So if you can save a few dollars, why not? The, I picked up two palettes. I picked up the Laura Mercier, what is this called? I Art Artistic uh, Palette. This is a repromote. Um, these are what the colors look like. Sorry, I don't want to blind you guys. Um, so this is um, a palette that she has uh, come out with uh, a few months ago or even maybe a year ago and it was a very a huge success and when I saw that it was like back on the Sephora website I was like Yes, thank you God. Uh, the colors are absolutely beautiful. I have swatched a few of them and yes, they feel amazing. Uh, there's like, you can make a smoky eye, you can make a neutral eye. Um, it's really, really a nice palette. I don't know if this palette is limited edition again or if it's permanent in her line, uh, but when I saw it, I said I can't miss out again. I picked it up right away. And I picked it up in store because online it was always sold out and I walked into Sephora and I saw this, so I picked it up in store. The next palette that I got is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. Um, again, this is, uh, you know, another neutral palette that I probably don't need, but it's just too beautiful to pass up. And the reviews on this is absolutely amazing. Um, I swatch a few colors and wow, this is buttery super silky it feels amazing the pigmentation is great um, compared to the uh, Laura Mercier uh, this feels much like the texture is much better um, but I mean you can never go wrong with Too Faced palettes their eyeshadows are really really great 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 quality so I wanted to pick this up and play with it so I'll let you guys know how it performs or I'll use it on a get ready with me or something like that and let you guys know how it goes on the apples uh, the next thing I picked up was this uh, watercolor lip gloss set from bite beauty this is what the box looks like isn't it beautiful I find that it's so pretty like I don't want to get rid of it. This is what the lip gloss look like. You have a range of beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, you have a yellow shade and a green shade. Uh, yes, they look kind of scary and they're very, very pigmented. I did, uh, when I got home, I bought this in store and I put one on and wow, 
color payoff on this is amazing like the format the formula is a thicker formula so if you guys don't like that then this won't be for you um also the girl at sephora said don't be scared of like the green and the yellow what you could do is you could mix uh either or with another lip gloss and kind of create your own uh gloss so that's was pretty neat and uh, because I don't own any of the bite lip glosses, I thought this would be fun. And there's beautiful colors for like this time of year. And another thing that I will mention is that when I did try uh, the lip gloss on my lips, my lips were a little bit on the drier side, so I did accentuate that. So if you guys have chap lips or crack lips, this will definitely enhance that. So just be aware that the formula is a thicker formula and you must exfoliate to have like that perfect like application and not have like you know nastiness on the lips so just remember that it's a thicker formula uh, another thing that i picked up at the uh, sephora sale was the smashbox photo finish primer water this is just a small sample this was at the deadly deadly section before you get to the cash at the same time for me i say deadly because there's all these little samples but if you don't like the product then you don't feel as bad as if you would have bought the full size you know so because everybody here says that this is a great great primer and because it's water i'm curious to see if it does work because me myself need a primer under uh, foundation for sure I am oily on the t-zone so can't wait to try this and give and have a feel for it on my own I picked up also a eye cream this is the uh, origins eye doctor um, the the tube that I just finished it was also from um, origins I do like the brand so I thought that with this I would pick up a different kind of eye cream so I haven't used it yet um, I will let you guys know if it's a yay or a nay. Uh, what else did I pick up? I picked up also another uh, Urban Decay All Nighter uh, Makeup Setting Spray. Um, I, this is a backup. Mine is almost done, so I decided to pick up another one. I picked up also at the deadly section of Before the Caches, the Makeup Forever Skin Equalizers. I picked up the Smoothing Primer and the Hydrating Primer. Those are just the little samples, uh, but again, you get a good feel of it, and if you do like the product, you just buy the full size, and that's it. Um, I picked up also a few lip glosses. Um, I picked up the, what are these called? The Urban Decay Revolution High Color Glosses. Oh Lord, so this is what they look like. Come on girl, get it together. Okay, so this is Liar, Vice and Scandal. Uh, I have swatched these uh, and the pigmentation on these is great, great color payoff. I don't know if they're sticky um, or how they perform, so I can't tell you that, but the color payoff is amazing for a lip gloss, wow beautiful beautiful payoff i also picked up the new what are these called artist plexiglass these are so new that i don't even know what they're called again artist plexiglasses for makeup forever uh, they have tons and tons of shades to choose from but this was only online they don't have them yet in store unless now they do have it uh, so it was kind of hard to like pick because there's so many shades um, so I picked up these for now. Uh, this is 207, 209, 101, and 200. So I picked up these colors. These again are like amazing. The color payoff is amazing. Um, I can't tell you if they're sticky. I can't tell you if they perform well, but I can't wait to slap these on my lips because just the swatches were absolutely beautiful here I'll swatch one for you guys and I'll show you the applicator because the applicator the applicator is also pretty amazing so this is 209 so here let me put this down so this is the applicator and you see there's like a little dent there 
So that's the applicator and this is the swatch. So this is 209. So obviously you guys could tell that like, wow, this the color payoff for a gloss. Again, guys, these are all glosses, right? But amazing, super shiny and I can't tell you if they're sticky, but you know, guys, a little bit of stickiness in your lip gloss is good. Will make your lip gloss last longer than if it has no stickiness at all. Um, what else can I show you guys? I got a few samples. I got what a hundred point perk. I got the Dior Show Maximizer uh, Serum, Lash Serum. Uh, this is, uh, I had this in the full size uh, many, many months ago and this really works guys. You apply, it's white, you apply a coat of this, you let it dry and then you apply some of your regular mascara and this gives you full, beautiful, like thick long lashes this product really really does work um, the only downside is that it's a little bit expensive but if you guys are looking for that you know false lash look then this is a really really good product for that also a hundred point perk I got the Bifacil eye makeup remover from Lancome uh, again, heard really great things about this eye makeup remover and it was at the 100 point perk so I decided to pick it up. A pretty good size sample uh, if you ask me, I mean, it, I'm sure it will last me quite a while. Then I got also like a few Clinique samples, uh, Bosch samples, uh, what's this brand called? Jurlique sample, this is a rose moisture plus moisturizer so i got that um because i bought all of this stuff uh my vib uh, rouge card was i guess extended renewed i don't know what you want to call it until 2016 so they gave me a gift which is this nail polish it's actually a beautiful color and it's in the color rouge this uh, the girl at the cash said that this is only for vib rouges um it's only the color is made only for that so i can't wait to try the formula x i heard great things about this formula x uh, nail polishes so now that i have one i'll get to try it uh, what else? Oh, they gave me this pouch also from uh, the sale. It's just a pouch, nothing in it, but still nice little gift. So that's everything from the sale. Now, what I got in New York, uh, when I went for IMAT uh, New York, I stopped at a Sephora because I wanted to get my hands on some Becca products since here I can't get my hands on Becca products. And when you want to order through Sephora, uh, online uh, they don't deliver to Canada I don't know if it has changed but I tried a couple of times and I couldn't get so I said okay well since I was in New York I knew for sure I wanted to pick the, these up these are the uh, shimmering skin perfector uh, these are the press version my I, I wanted to get opal for sure uh, that was like hands-on the one that I wanted to get I am wearing it today I don't know if you guys could see, like the sun is like coming in, coming out. So this is Opal. And I also got Moonstone since I didn't know when the next time I would go to the States. So this is Moonstone. These powders are absolutely beautiful, super silky. Uh, gives you that great, beautiful highlight. Like whatever people were saying about these uh, powders are absolutely true. Um, what else did I pick up? I picked up this uh, Naked Skin Concealer Weightless Complete Coverage from Urban Decay. I got it in the shade Medium Light Neutral. I am wearing it today. I really, really like it. Um, it is very, it's blendable, super smooth. Um, does it, uh, is it full coverage? I wouldn't say that it's full coverage. I do see a little bit of darkness, uh, but nonetheless, I really, really, really like that. Um, something else that I picked up is the Too Faced RX uh, Hangover uh, Primer. I am wearing this today. I decided to put it on my face and it smells absolutely amazing. 
um, what else? It smells like coconut water because it does say coconut water. I do agree. It's silicone free. Yes, I do agree. It feels more like a moisturizer than a primer. You don't have that silicone feel to it. Um, I, this is the first time that I'm wearing it, so I don't know how it will perform. I am someone that does need a primer because I am oily on the T-zone, so I do need a primer. Um, I was a little st skeptical about this because it's not, it doesn't have that silicone feeling but everybody loves this product, so every time here in Canada I go to a Sephora, there's never the sample, nor is it in stock. So when I saw it there, I was like, okay, I'm gonna pick it up and try it. And I have to say, I do really f like the sensation of uh, being more moisturizing than a silicone feeling. Um, so yeah, and it smells amazing, so great. Uh, another two products that I also picked up from Becca, I'm like all over the place, sorry guys. I'm not feeling very good, so I just wanted to get this video up for you guys. Um, I picked up an eye tint. This is in Romanticism, which I'm wearing all over my eyelids. And this one, it doesn't have the freaking name on it, and I don't know why. It has a weird name in, on it because I tried to read it and I was like, okay. Um, anyways, I'm putting everything down below in the description box. So I will leave the name of this one. Um, so this is just a wash of color, you know. It, th these are perfect for summertime when you don't want to fuss with your eyeshadows, but you do want to wear something on your eyeballs. Um, so yeah, this is what I put on. I just put on a sheer wash of it. Some eyeliner, some, some, some what? Some eyeliner mascara and you're out the door. So these are perfect for summertime. I don't know how they will wear. Uh, it seems to be okay for now. So if there's any complaints, I will leave it down below also. And the last one, well, oh, sorry guys. Sorry if you guys could hear like noises from outside. Uh, there's like a little bit of construction around my house. Not at my house, but around my house. Uh, so you kind of hear like them banging on stuff and cutting stuff and it's annoying, but I wanted to put this video up. The next thing I got was the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette. Uh, when I was in New York, I wasn't sure if we were going to get this on time. Uh, usually in the States, you guys get uh, the new stuff quicker than us. So I wanted to pick it up. I don't have the contour palette. Uh, I will maybe invest in the contour palette, but because I'm not uh, really great at doing contour yet, uh, for me, I think it's... Um, not a waste of money, but maybe it's too soon for me. And since it is a permanent item, eventually when I'll do or will I, when I'll have more confidence in my contour, um, I'll get the palette. But for now, uh, it's not something that I want to invest in. I did buy the Marc Jacobs uh, contour uh, powder. Um, you just have a banana shade and the contour uh, uh, powder. And for me, for now, it's plenty. Uh, it will give me like maybe a boost to work with the product a little bit more and if I do see myself getting better at it then I will invest in the Kat Von D uh, Shade Lights palette for the contour palette. But for now I picked up the uh, contour eyes. Is this called contour? Yeah, yeah it's actually called contour palette eyes. So yeah, the colors are beautiful. I haven't swatched it, I haven't touched it. I don't know how they feel, uh, but the colors are absolutely amazing. You have your neutrals, you have your warm colors. Uh, there's eye looks for all, all color eyes. Um, the only complaint that I heard about this is the colors. They're so pigmented that it's sometimes a little harder to blend. Um, so that's the only complaint that I heard here on YouTube, so I, I don't know. I will have to let you guys know for myself if yes or no, I do find that it's a little bit hard to blend. Uh, but for now, these are absolutely, absolutely beautiful, beautiful colors. Again, did I need another neutral palette? No. But I still got it. And my last product that I have to show you guys is the Mary Luminizer uh, highlighter. I know it's like, really? Did you really need this? Uh, but here in Canada, we used to have in our drugstores the 
uh, the Balm uh, cosmetics, but now we don't. So when I saw this, I said, oh, I have to pick it up because this is also a staple in every YouTuber's collection. So I wanted to pick it up for myself. I did swatch it and yes, it, it is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Is it compar comparable to the Becca ones? I'm not sure yet since I haven't worn this on uh, my face. I can't really say if yes or no I prefer one than the other uh, but I saw it and I said you know what if I don't pick it up here I don't know when the next time I will be able to pick it up so I decided to get it. So is that it my friends? Yes that is it. So if you guys have any questions or if you guys want some videos on certain things that I showed you guys today uh, then let me know. I will be gladly to do them for you guys. And that's it. So I hope uh, uh, you guys enjoyed my video. I will have another video for you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.